Hello, my name is uh, Nasser Abdul Halim. Now I'm presenting a short-term outcome of uh, repeat laparoscopic compared to open hepatectomy after an initial open hepatectomy. A collaborative study between Paul Bruce and Henry Mondor Hospitals uh, from France and uh, Sir Ron Rancho Hospital from China. Repeat laparoscopic hepatectomy uh, for recurrence of hepatic malignancies is a demanding procedure, mostly due to a deformity of liver anatomy and the adhesions that may make uh, the identification of tumorous vessels or biliary ducts difficult and thus prone them to injury and complications. Well, despite this, uh, repeat laparoscopic hepatectomy had been shown to be safe, feasible, and comparable with repeat open hepatectomy from post-operative course and oncological point of view. We know that an initial laparoscopic hepatectomy facilitates the repeat hepatectomy. However, the results of a repeat laparoscopic procedure after an initial open one are limited. Thus, the aim of our study is to evaluate the outcome of a repeat uh, hepatectomy lap versus open following an initial hepatectomy. Uh, the repeat hepatectomy prospective database of the three hospitals was uh, uh, analyzed uh, across six years from 2012 to 2018, and uh, we found that uh, 64 patients had undergone uh, repeat hepatectomy after an initial open one. And, uh, those patients uh, were divided uh, further on into two groups, uh, depending on the uh, type of uh, procedure. Uh, chosen for the repeat hepatectomy. So group A goes for the uh, repeat laparoscopic and group B goes for the repeat open. Uh, the study was undertaking an intention to treat without exclusion of patients upon their pathology. Uh, table number one shows us the demographic data of the uh, initial open hepatectomy. Uh, we can see that uh, hepatocellular carcinoma is uh, the main indication for surgery among uh, the two groups, uh, followed by colorectal liver metastasis. Uh, partial hepatectomy was uh, the main procedure performed uh, in the initial uh, open hepatectomy. Um, well, we can see that major hepatectomy was uh, performed more in group B compared to group A. Uh, table number two shows us the preoperative data of the repeat hepatectomy. Uh, we can see that uh, the median age uh, was, uh, was comparable between the two groups. Um, however, uh, the patients in, uh, in group B had slightly um, uh, higher BMI than, uh, than in group A. And um, the maximal size of the recurrent tumors were larger. Um, in group B than in group A. The uh, operative data um, uh, of the repeat hepatectomy is uh, shown in this table. You can see that the partial hepatectomy is uh, the main procedure performed here as well um, among the two groups. And uh, again, we can see that uh, major hepatectomies were performed more in the open uh, uh, hepatectomy uh, compared to the uh, repeat laparoscopic one. Um, when we look at the Pringle procedure, um, it was uh, significantly more done uh, in the uh, repeat open group uh, than the repeat lab. And uh, as expected, the duration of the Pringle uh, was also higher in this group. Uh, the blood loss was uh, as well uh, significantly uh, um, higher um, in uh, group B. Um, which probably led to an, uh, a prolonged operative time um, uh, with a significant difference among the two groups. And of course, the transfusions uh, were more in, uh, as expected in group B. Well, um, from a conversion point of view, we had uh, two conversions. Uh, one was due to uh, duodenal perforation. And uh, the second one was due to an insufficient uh, exposure of the uh, tumor. From a post-operative uh, point of view, we can see that uh, post-operative complications uh, were uh, significantly lower in the uh, repeat laparoscopic group um, with uh, uh, fewer hospital, uh, uh, hospital days uh, uh, in the same group. Uh, the resection margins uh, R0 and R1 are comparable, showing that basically from an oncological point of view, 
the, both procedures are, uh, are the same. Um, in this table, uh, we can see uh, a wider distribution, uh, basically, of the patients uh, um, according to the uh, post-operative complication rates. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, in group A, most of the patients uh, had no complications, uh, while the rest uh, mainly had uh, minor ones. Uh, and unfortunately, one patient uh, in group A had, uh, had died. This patient uh, needed conversion due to dense adhesions uh, found uh, at the liver hilum at laparoscopy. Uh, during uh, adhesiolysis, the, the dental perforation was, uh, was observed, and thus uh, needed conversion. Um, but the patient uh, developed severe pancreatitis postoperatively, uh, which led to his death. Our conclusion is that uh, repeat laparoscopic hepatectomy is a feasible and realistic option to be considered in selected patients after previous open hepatectomy. The amount of adhesions from previous open surgery is unpredictable, but early conversion should be considered when adhesions are more severe than expected, especially in the porta hepatis and pancreatico duodenal areas. Thank you very much, and I uh, would like to thank the organizers for uh, giving me uh, the chance uh, to uh, present our, in, our uh, study in this extremely interesting uh, meeting. Uh, we wish a lot of health to all of you and uh, all the best.